So in this video, we're going to look at the um, roots of the quartic equation. So um, let's uh, write down a generalized qu quartic equation. So that's a, an equation of degree four. So we'll have um, ax to the power four plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e equals zero. So that's, the, if you like, the standard form of a quartic equation. Now, the fundamental theorem of algebra tells us that this equation will have four roots, which may be real or complex, uh, and may be repeated, but it will have four roots. So we're going to call those roots alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And we know that the equation can also be written in this form, x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus gamma, x minus delta equals zero. Now, we want to find the relationship between the roots of the equation and the coefficients. Um, now, if I multiply this out, I'm going to get a coefficient of x to the 4. Of, uh, the coefficient of x to the 4 will be 1. So I'm now going to rewrite this equation by dividing through by a, so that at least we can then match off the coefficients. So dividing through by a gives me x to the 4 plus b over ax cubed plus c over ax squared, plus d over a x, plus e over a. Now, I can start multiplying out all these brackets. Now, there's quite a bit of work in that. And um, you've already seen this work with a cubic, and you've seen it work with a quadratic. Um, but I'm going I'm to do it anyway. Um, so, the first thing we can do is deal with these first two. So we can say, well, okay, so x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus gamma, x minus delta equals zero implies that, so let's multiply these two, so we get x minus, sorry, x squared minus alpha plus beta, because they'll both be negative, plus alpha beta times by x minus gamma, x minus delta. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this through by x and then by minus gamma. So that gives me um, x cubed, so that should be an x there, x cubed um, minus uh, alpha plus beta x squared plus alpha beta x, now I need to multiply through by gamma, minus gamma x squared. Um, and then when I multiply this by minus gamma, it's going to give us um, plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma x squared. Um, Sorry, I beg your pardon, x, not x squared. And then we're going to have minus alpha, beta, gamma. So there's quite a lot there. Maybe I've made a mistake. And then that's multiplied by x minus delta. So now I'm going to multiply all this through by x and then by minus delta. So I get multiplying through by x gives me x to the 4 minus alpha plus beta x cubed plus alpha, beta, um, x squared, minus gamma, x cubed, plus alpha, gamma, plus beta, gamma, um, that is just an x there, isn't it? So that's going to be x squared. And then um, plus, sorry, I beg your pardon, minus alpha, beta, gamma, x. But now you also need to multiply it through by minus delta. So I get um, minus delta x cubed um, plus alpha delta plus beta delta x squared plus alpha, beta, delta, x, 
plus um, so that should be minus alpha beta delta x shouldn't it because it multiplies through by minus delta um, plus gamma delta x squared minus alpha gamma delta plus beta gamma delta x plus alpha beta gamma delta. So there's a lot of work in that. Um, and if you can even see that clearly, if you move that over a bit, it's pretty better. So then we need to tidy all this up a bit. So we've got x to the 4, and then x cubed, we've got minus alpha plus beta, um, minus gamma, there should be a minus delta somewhere. Yeah, minus delta. So we can think of that as alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta x cubed. Then for x squared, we've got alpha beta, alpha gamma, beta gamma, alpha delta, beta delta, and um, gamma delta. And these are all positive, so we've got alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus, sorry that's delta, plus gamma delta. And that's x squared. And then the coefficient of x is um, negative. So we've got all the triples, so we've got alpha beta gamma. Um, alpha beta delta, alpha gamma delta, and um, beta gamma delta. And then finally, we've got minus, is it minus? No, sorry, it's plus. Plus alpha beta gamma delta. So that's a lot of work. Um, I mean, okay, but we've got there. And the point is we can now match these um, coefficients, just as we did with the cubic, which was a lot simpler because there, there was less algebra to do. So we can say that um, alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta equals um, minus b over a, because that's minus. By the way, we can express this as just sigma alpha. It's a bit informal, but it just means sum up all the singletons. These are the singletons, okay? And then you see a bit more of the symmetry of what's going on. And then the coefficient of um, x squared is um, alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus um, alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta. And that equals c over a plus c over a. And we can write that informally as um, sigma alpha beta, which means add up all the pairs. And then we have the um, triples. So alpha beta gamma, I need to move this a bit. So alpha beta gamma plus alpha beta delta plus alpha gamma delta plus beta gamma delta equals minus d over a, because that's negative, and that we can express informally as um, like that. So the sum of all the triples. And then finally, um, alpha, beta, gamma, delta equals E over A. So we've now got, this is the key really. So all that work, this is what you need to remember. So the sum of the singletons is minus B over A. The sum of the pairs is C over A. The sum of the triples is minus D over A. And the, the one quadruple is E over A. And you should be spotting a pattern which applies to the cubic and the quartic and the quadratic which is that um, b over a so so if, if, if we're dealing with a, a an equation of degree n say then minus b over a will be the coefficient of the term which is has degree n minus one and then c over a will be the 
coefficient of the equation that has um, um, coefficient c over a and so on. Um, and, and that pattern is always preserved. So you've always got a minus b over a, you've always got a minus d over a, if, if indeed you have a d over a at all. Um, and c over a and e over a will be positive. And if you were to continue this, which we don't need to, thankfully, then they would continue alternating. Um, okay, good. So let's crack on with a question um, using this information. So I'm going to try and leave that in view. And uh, we'll look at a specific equation. Uh, so I'm going to look at question one from exercise 4c. And um, with the equation is this, 4x to the 4 plus 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 4 equals 0. So from that we can work out our values of minus b over a and so on. Um, so we first of all, in part a, we're asked to find alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. Well, we can see that that's just minus b over a. And in this equation, that's minus 3 quarters. It's pretty easy. B, we have to find, I'm not going to write all this down, but essentially we've got to find out the sum of all the pairs. And um, the sum of all the pairs, again, we can just read it off straight away. It's c over a, which is uh, 2 over 4, so a half. Part C. We've got to find the sum of the triples, and that's um, minus d over a from our key, and minus d over a is minus 5 quarters. And now um, d is the one which is a bit less straightforward because we've got to find the reciprocals of the roots. But um, the way we do that is, is the way we always do it. We Let's add them together and see what we get. Um, so the common denominator is the product of all of those terms, so it's alpha, beta, gamma, delta. And then we're going to actually have the triples above here, because um, alpha, alpha is being multiplied by beta, gamma, delta, so we must do the same with the top. So we're going to have um, beta, gamma, delta, plus alpha, gamma, delta, plus alpha, beta, delta, plus alpha, beta, gamma. Um, so in other words, that's just the sum of all the triples over the, the one quadruple. Um, now we know that the sum of all the... Um, let me move this again so you can see it more clearly, hopefully. Um, the sum of all the triples is minus d over a. So that's, we've already seen that, so it's minus 5 over 4. So we've got minus 5 over 4 divided by the quadruple, which is um, e over a. So that's minus 4 over 4, which is minus 1. So that's just the answer. It's just going to be minus 5 over 4 divided by minus 1, which is 5 over 4, or 1.25, whatever you want.